Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you? I haven't been live in a minute, but um, I find that you guys like my stories a little bit better. So I do stories all day and night long for you guys. But I wanted to show you guys this eye look. Somebody asked for it live when I did it last week. Um, it's, you guys know me, I'm so simple, I'm so easy, I am not gonna overcomplicate things, I'm not gonna use a thousand different brushes, I'm just not gonna do that, right? So I'm gonna use one palette, this is it. This is a Glam Up palette, and honestly, it's my favorite. Um, it's kind of my go-to. I'm always wishing that Pharmacy would come out with more eyeshadows, and they do, and I still only use this one. So this is it for me, it's like 30 bucks, I really love it. Um, these are the colors. So I'm gonna show you the colors I'm gonna use today, I'm gonna use this color. I'm gonna use the black, and then I'm gonna use the pink, and then probably one of these like highlight colors, okay? So super simple, super easy. Um, I hope that you guys have like amazing Valentine's Day plans. Kyle and I don't do a lot for Valentine's Day. This year we even agreed to not even do presents. Um, it's just not a big deal to us. Um, I think it's the idea that we kind of celebrate our love every single day because every single day we wake up and choose it. Like love is so hard. Marriage is so hard. Just relationships in general are so hard. Um, so we have to wake up every single day and choose it. Otherwise it goes to poo poo and it's just not fun, right? So here's the look. Um, you're gonna take your color taupe. So really, if you have any kind of light brown color, that's what you're gonna do, okay? And I'm just gonna start out here and then go in with it. Um, and you can see where it's just going kind of in your crease and right above. Um, I can come up here to this part and come up here to this part. I try to stay out of this middle just because I want that kind of my foundation color to separate the eyeshadow look from the brows. And you guys, I haven't put any more product on here, so this is really pigmented and really amazing. And then I just kind of blend until my heart is content, okay? Um, the more precise you wanna blend, get up here closer. The looser you want it kind of out here. So I just kind of have it out here on the edge where I can kind of blend it and it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? So you see how I'm not getting real far down here, but just, you know, to the edge, we're doing it, okay? So let's do the other eye. I just kind of put it in a couple times. And if you need more product, if you want to start lighter, start lighter and then build up. Um, if you start too dark, you kind of screw up and you have to take it off and then start again. So if you start out lighter, like see how this one looks a little lighter than that one? Um, probably because I'd already used this brush and there was probably some product still on it. I can come back in with just a little bit more and start always on the outside because that's where we want the main focus of that darker color and then blend it in, okay? And then it just kind of looks perfect, looks amazing, okay? It doesn't have to look absolutely perfect yet because we're gonna do more blending, but I do want it a little darker out here on the top because I'm putting that black out there, which the black has always scared me a lot, but we're not gonna get too crazy with it. And we're gonna start light and go darker, okay? So we're gonna leave that brush here. And just kind of a small type crease brush. Um, this one is angled, so I really, really like it. I'm gonna literally just barely touch this, okay? You'll see even though there's some on the brush, I've probably used most of it. Do you see how it's going on real dark though? Okay, now I can add more. I can't take away. You can blend some of it away, but you're not gonna be able to do a lot. So on this, I'm just gonna go up. If you wanna use the business card trick here, you can. If you use a small enough brush, you probably won't need to. Okay, then we're just gonna leave it right like that and do the other eye and then we'll blend it out with the other brush, okay? Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit more. You see how right there, it's not real black? I'm just gonna press it in there. With black, I usually try to press instead of really blend um, because I, I wanna make sure there's no fallout. I will say this eyeshadow doesn't have a lot of fallout. Okay, it looks crazy right now, right? Um, it doesn't really have a lot of fallout, um, but I just wanna make sure it doesn't go crazy if I'm like blending like a mad woman over here, okay? So I just kind of press it in, in that same area. I want to lift the eye, so I'm going to go up here in this corner. And then I'm going to get a little bit more. See how in the middle there, it's that kind of that lighter color. I'm just going to poke it in there. Ta-da, okay. They don't even really look completely similar, but it's going to be okay. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and take a little bit of that brown and blend it just really lightly. I'm not pressing really hard. 
I'm just blending and then I'll kind of come over. So you see how that black kind of shadows over, but not crazy. Okay. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. So that's probably why that eyeshadow went on darker in the beginning because I probably had this black there. And then I'm just going to kind of pull it over, but ever so lightly. Okay. And we can kind of come back once we get our pink on there. Then I'm just going to use a flat brush with the pink glitter. I'm going to put it on there kind of heavy. Okay. And then I'm going to press it on here. So again, I'm not going to really brush it on because I don't want that fallout because I do already have my foundation on. And I am going to put it over the black. And I'm going to kind of try to smudge that black back just a little bit so that it blends. You can kind of come forward a little bit if you want. Just don't come too far forward with that black or you're going to end up with black all over your eyelid. And you're not going to love it, okay? Okay. And then we're just going to press it and hope that for, for the best. And again, I'm just going to kind of smudge it into this black. I think the cat's doing something on there, though. Hello, what do you have? She got her name stopped immediately. Okay. So then you just kind of put it on there. <clears throat> I'm going to come in. I got this quick color removal thing from Amazon. I'm just going to try to get that black that was on there just a little bit off. It's still going to be there a little bit, but because this thing isn't amazing, but you can probably get better ones. But I'm going to come in with the brown. And I'm just going to swirl it out here on this black to try to blend it just a little bit more. Okay. You see how it's all coming together? So it looked a little crazy in the beginning. And I just kind of blend that edge because I like really soft edges. Okay. And then whatever I have left on this black brush, I'm going to kind of smoke out the bottom just a little bit. So it's not crazy black, just a little bit, all right? And then let's come in with, maybe, um, I think I wanna do the gold instead of the lighter for the highlight color on the inside. But let's do a little bit of the highlight on top of the gold. You see how that just kinda opens that up and brightens it up? So you could kind of even mix it And it kind of gets that bright, but it's that gold color. It's so perfect. You can't really see it, but I can see it. You can see it, right? Okay, so then I used four brushes and we're done with that. So this is going to be your eye look. I'm going to do lashes today because I want it to be really fabulous for Valentine's Day, right? So I'm just going to do a light coat of mascara just to get my lashes darker. And then we'll put the lashes on. You guys, I'm getting way better. I don't know if you were with me in the beginning, but I was a disaster with eyelashes, but I think that I have figured it out. I think, I think. I do use two kinds of glue because, well, I'm a hot mess and I feel like I'm impatient, so whatever the first one doesn't get, wherever I don't get it quite on, the second one will. But I don't make it overcomplicated, and of course I'm gonna do whatever is super easy. And I'm going to show you some lash glue that I absolutely love, 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 love um, because it's clear and it has aloe. So it comes off really, really well with just like some micellar water. So you're not like ripping off your eyes because that's just not fun. Okay. I am going to use the Pharmacy Lashes, the Magnificent. They are my absolute fave. These are brand new. So let's see if I need to cut them. If you don't love lashes, start with lashes like these um, because... Okay, do you see how these have a clear band? It's not thick, it's not heavy, it's not anything. I got these from the wig shop. She gave them to me for free in my bag. Do you, well, let's see here. Do you see how they're really black up here and thick? Okay, sometimes these can feel a little heavy. Um, these do not because they have that really clear, light, light band. Um, so let's see if I need to trim these at all or if they're gonna be okay. So I just kind of put it up to my eye and see. Yeah, they're gonna be okay. I don't think I need to really trim them, but I am gonna show you. Okay, so I used two different um, 
glues. Pharmacy actually has a glue, and I'm, if I'm being honest, I've never tried it um, because I love this lash liner glue so, so, so much. It goes on black, it goes on like liner, so I don't have to have like an added step of liner and then glue. I do think that one of my kids did something to this. It's like, I think they put on glue and then put on this because this doesn't like work as well as what it typically did, so I've been using this one too. Hey, Brenda, happy Valentine's Day, but this is Kiss. I just got this from Amazon. It came in a two-pack looks like this maybe you can see without the light um but it's a super strong hold it's waterproof it's clear which if you haven't done lashes before clear gel clear glue is amazing because if you place it and it's not in the right spot and you've used a black glue then you have the black glue there but if this gets on there it's clear so it dries clear and no one sees it plus i love that it has the aloe in it because it just makes me feel like it's maybe a little healthier i don't know so what i do is i just undo it and set it down and then i'm going to do this one first if you're not a liquid liner person and for whatever reason this my kids have had to have done something to this because the top comes i don't even know what's happened but these are from amazon as well it is um lashed up l-a-s-h apostrophe D lashed up on uh, the magic liner and I just put it all the way in but you see how it's a liner for sure but it's also the glue like I said I used to only use this one and it was fine but my kids I think did something to it like I feel like they glued the glue so it doesn't come out as well but you can see how even when I'm telling you like it's broken um, I still feel like it works so well and I don't have to use a liner so you see how now I have the liner on but it's also the glue and then I just take this okay and I can wear these lashes a long time because I do take them off with the q-tip and micellar water um, so I'm putting this clear glue just right on here I take them off in the evening time with a q-tip and micellar water so it's really cleaning them and I don't have to worry about the buildup of the glue on here because when I'm taking them off, I'm also cleaning them. Okay, let's see. And then I just put them on here. I start in the middle. I, I don't know. For me, that's just easiest because then I can take the little tool. And you guys, I'm getting better with this pharmacy tool. I used to really suck with this thing. And I liked the one that I got from Dollar General. <laughs> But again, I think one of my children have stolen it. They stole my mascara. My double lash extend mascara is gone. I think when Lucy moved out, I think she thought some of the stuff was hers. However, no. You took my mascara and you took my eyelash tool, but you guys, they're on there. They're not going anywhere. And look, I really, really love these magnificent lashes. They're literally my favorite in the whole world. Um, because they're so lightweight, so I feel like I can wear them all day long without a headache. They feel so heavy and weird, so I've never been able to wear them. Try the ones from Pharmacy that are $14.90. Okay, hold on. Well, let me just show you really quick. Okay, so Pharmacy has some. They're $14.90 or $19.90. That is retail, so Brenda, you get them half off. Um, but there's a difference. Okay, so like the ones I showed you before, this one right here. This is in the package. Do you see how the band, it's clear. It's very lightweight, it's not thick, it's not heavy. These are the 1490 Magnificent. I like the Magnificent, the Glamorous, and the um, Keep It Cool. Those are the three I wear all the time. You can see I have worn these a lot. I need to throw them away. They're like clumping now because I've worn them so much. I'm just gonna throw this away. Those are the last up, but I got these just the other day, but you can see how they're on the band, they're really small. These are the 1990 from Pharmacy. Do you see how the band is really black? It's heavy. By the end of the day, my, my eyelids feel like I have had to have a workout. Most lashes are like this, okay? So even the ones I got from the wig shop, they look a whole lot like that, that black thick line, and they're heavy. And by the end of the day, I have a headache. My eyes are tired. And I don't love that. So unless I'm just going out like for a date night for a few hours, then I'll wear like those really bougie ones and, and then I can be fine with them. But if I'm like commuting 45 minutes and staying there for, and you know, eight hours and then commuting up by the time I get home, the heaviness of those kills me, right? But these, 
are just this really light, clear band. Like I can't hardly tell that I have them on. It's the weirdest thing ever. So I just tape them, maybe. So these ones, so literally I paid like $7.45 for these, wear them several times. And see how you can't even hardly see the band because it's this just this clear string that holds all the lashes there. And literally I, I always hated wearing lashes before. I loved the look of them but I hated how they felt and how tired they made my eyes. And yeah, it was not fun. Um, but now I really like them. And Pharmacy does have a glue, you can try it. I haven't tried it, but the, I love this Lashed Up Magic Liner. And you're amazing with liner, so this will be easy peasy for you. Like I said, my kids have jacked this one up. I need to order a new one. And I actually had another one in here and I couldn't remember which one they jacked up and which one they didn't. So let's just try this one for a second. Maybe I'm working with the jacked up one. I can never tell. No, this is the jacked up one. Yeah, we're throwing in the trash. I need to just get on Amazon and order another set because you can get like two for nine bucks or something. Maybe 11, I don't know. Um, let's just see. See how it, like my kids did something weird to it. I don't know. I mean, it goes on, but it's just weird. I don't know. They've never done this and I've been using these for like over a year. There we go. Now it's going on a little better. I think that they put glue on and then did this. So then it was like they glued the glue. Does that make sense? That's why I'm using the clear glue too. Because I love the liner look of this. And for whatever reason, <laughs> I have all these liners. But I just really like this one from Amazon, okay? Don't judge me. Because <laughs> um, it goes on so smooth. And right now it's not going on so smooth. And I'm still using it. I don't know why. Because we get into this thing of these habits and we do it and then, yeah, I need to just order another one. So right now I'm using two glues, it's fine. This is literally the story of my life. But I really do love this clear glue. I got the clear glue to begin with because I would put black on here and in the beginning I was literally awful at putting these things on and I would stick it and it would like stick too high and then I would have to like peel it off and pull it down and then I'd have the black line above the lashes and it was literally terrible. If you do lashes and you're like, oh my gosh, this is too hard, keep trying because in the beginning I literally glued this everywhere. I The first time I tried it, I stuck it and it dropped and it stuck to my cheek, literally glued there. It was not a good experience for me at all. Um, and I just push down the middle and then kind of, well, now it's attaching to the lashes. It's fine. It's fine. You don't have to be a professional. This one has given me some trouble. I think because I glued it to the lashes. I stuck it to the lashes. Have you seen the girls that do it and it is like, um, they do it to the underneath? I have tried that, but it has not went well for me. We're gonna try again. So, like I said, if it's not perfect, just keep trying. It, it does get easier and better, I promise. And then I just kind of push it down. And then they look really pretty. I love these. So I love the ones that are $14.90. Like I tell everybody, do not buy the ones that are $19.90 from Pharmacy because they're too heavy, especially if you've never worn lashes. Now, if you've worn lashes and you think they're great and you love that really bougie, full, 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 full look, definitely get the $19.90 ones. They're fun. They're amazing. I mean, they make me look like I have a night job, but I sometimes want to go for that look. I don't know. Maybe just a little bit. I don't know. But there it is. They're on. Like They're not coming off. They won't blow off. And actually, it was so windy the other day. I was like, oh my gosh, my lashes are going to blow off. But they didn't. So, there's that. Okay, so I want to do some lipstick. And since it's Valentine's Day, I really loved the pink that I did the other day. This is the Pharmacy Forever Set. Look, it comes in this cute little magnetic box. It's so cute. And then it has all four of the pinks. This one is super neutral. No. Yeah, no. This one is that bright, light pink. And then you have the purplish and the really bright pink. And then the more neutral color. Um, I really loved, loved, loved the bright pink the other day. It was so pretty that I'm definitely going to wear it again. Okay. Um, it's literally amazing. I just take everything off. These are really pigmented and will stay all day long. Um, and I love them so much. So 
So I just take my lipstick off at night with a makeup remover because it is absolutely still there. I really hope that they add more bright pinks. Good morning, Daddy. Um, they add more bright pinks to the actual lineup because this is amazing and you guys are gonna hate it when I'm old, when I'm wearing this next month and you can't get it. Like, it's gonna suck. Just love it. But it comes with all four of them. So, yeah. in the cute little box. I love it. And the names are Pink Bite, Sugar Plum, Raspberry Crush, and Midnight Mauve. I love that. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna put a wig on. I'm going to finish this look, drink my coffee, get the kids to school, and head to work. I hope that you guys have a day full of love. You love the eyeshadow look, super simple, super easy. Um, it definitely went faster the other day when I wasn't on here trying to explain it all, but um, it still wasn't like forever long, right? I hope not, maybe the lashes were a little bit, but they look so pretty, I love them. So, happy Valentine's Day, you guys. I love you. Thanks for jumping on, and I will see you guys later. Bye.